No, we are not swimming through the blacklight poster section at Spencer's. It's not an alien landscape. We haven't been smoking anything funny. And when we talk about taking a trip on LSD, we mean cruising along Lakeshore Drive in Chicago. This, of course, is a coral reef. Any diver knows that corals show an amazing diversity of colors, most of which are visible in daylight. Here, we see a variety of them, including sea fans, star corals, sea rods, brain corals, and crusting corals. Corals are beautiful enough to look at during the day, and they take on a spectacular complexion at night when underwater lights reveal a stunning parade of colors. But now, modern lighting technology allows us to see corals in, well, a different light. The fluorescent colors are only visible with black light in the dark. They are fluorescent 24-7, but it's impossible to see the fluorescence under bright sunlight. Even at night with a submersible source of black light, you still need a special filter for your mask or your camera to properly see or film the fluorescent qualities of the corals. Coral reefs harbor more species of organisms than all tropical rainforests combined. Shallow coral reefs reveal stunning colors that marine biologists have been trying to understand for decades. Scientists believe that fluorescence could offer protection from damaging sunlight or be used as a biochemical defense generated during times of stress. These days, many corals are suffering from coral bleaching due to global warming and fluorescence may be important in reducing the bleaching. Coral fluorescence is under continuing study, but the fact is, fluorescent corals seem to be more resistant to coral bleaching than others. Here's why. Fluorescence allows select pigments inside the corals to react to strong light, absorbing the blues at the cooler end of the color spectrum while reflecting the reds and other harmful colors. This lets the corals become more resistant to the damaging effects of ultraviolet light and provides a measure of protection for the symbiotic algae living inside the polyps which help to sustain the corals. These corals seem to use photoproteins to cover the algae with a protective shield. In short, they make their own sunscreen. Conversely, it also appears that fluorescent corals in deeper waters can actually harness the warmer end of the spectrum to the benefit of the algae living inside them. It's a fascinating phenomenon. It's beautiful, and it's helping coral reefs in their ongoing fight for survival. Coral fluorescence first showed up on my radar in 2004 while I was shooting at Captain Don's habitat on Bonaire. My dear old friend Jack Chalk let me use the lights and mask filter one needs in order to see the phenomenon. Almost 10 years later, while diving from Cayman Aggressor 4, I finally had a chance to use this technology with a camera. We spent 10 days diving with legendary underwater filmmaker Stan Waterman. Aggressor fleet owner Wayne Hassan let me take his lighting system and camera filter on a night dive and I came back with over 45 minutes of some of the most mesmerizing film I had ever seen. Images from that dive were used in a piece for Ocean and Google Earth. We quickly discovered that corals aren't the only underwater organisms that fluoresce. We are fascinated by the aura surrounding lizardfish. Whether by day or by night, sea anemones are among our favorite subjects. Under the black light, they become almost ethereal. This is a particularly effective night hunter. With a sticky quality reminiscent of post-it notes, their tentacles reach out and snag some free dinner. We have become waiters at an undersea restaurant. A peacock flounder on a patch of encrusting coral finds that its camouflage skills are useless. Who does this brain coral remind me of? Abby, someone. Coral reefs don't just provide the world with great photo ops and thriving ecosystems. They also contribute an economic injection of hundreds of billions of dollars worldwide. 
It goes without saying that their decline in recent years due to a variety of threats from pollution and climate change to overfishing and poor management has lent urgency to the search for new ways to evaluate their health. Since the early days when humans were just beginning to study life beneath the sea, coral colonies most often had to be brought to the surface for examination. Even today, testing coral health in such a manner is not uncommon, but the scientific community seems to be moving away from analyses in which corals must be removed from their habitat. Studying fluorescence means that coral health can be gauged non-invasively, directly in the field. Sort of an underwater house call. Through these new video and lighting technologies, researchers can leave the corals completely untouched while they study them. In addition, they have a record of it. These images can captivate and entertain and sneak in a little education on the side. As we've seen, coral reefs are remarkable to look at during the day, and most scuba divers have probably done a night dive, where coral reefs appear even more vibrant under the dive lights. And now, for divers and underwater photographers, fluorescence has become a singular dive experience. For us, it's become an entirely new subset of underwater cinematography. The technology is also beginning to give the scientific community a non-invasive means of studying corals. This will no doubt branch into similar examinations of other species, as more marine biologists become aware of these methods and make their own innovations. From the Caribbean Sea, diving into the black light, I'm Paul Cater-Deaton, and I'll see you under the bubbles.